Hey guys, it's GTSS back with another video, and in this video I'll be going over the changes and slight improvements I saw in Windows 10 Preview Build 10162. So this is uh, another public preview build released two days after 10159, which I also have a video up of. But this build really has not much new. Pretty much everything is the same, and uh, the Windows Team's blog post mentioned that this would be uh, a release where they're going to be improving performance, battery life, uh, reliability, so that you don't have crashes anymore, uh, and just overall a under the hood release, which is always nice to see. And we're going to be seeing a lot more of these as we get closer to RTM. Uh, but I did notice a couple of changes, very minor, but I did notice them. Uh, first of all, in Microsoft Edge, when you go into settings and advanced settings, when you're trying to change the default search engine, in 10,159, you weren't able to add a new one. If you clicked on add a new, it wouldn't really show you anything. And now we have the option of adding one, except I don't really know why they chose these. I mean, I don't know if this is based off of my history, because obviously my history involves Google search, but Google search isn't on here. Uh, but I tried it out with Google Play just to see if it would actually work, and it worked pretty well. So I can do add as default, and then when I search anything, uh, it'll directly go into the Google Play Store. So that was, it's it's glad, it's good to see that this is actually working, but uh, the, our, the, the search engines that we would like, such as Google, aren't there yet. But the feature is there, and it is coming, so that's definitely good. And the next thing I saw was Cortana has some minor improvements so now it shows uh just restaurants near you uh in a much better way uh and also if i scroll down to movies it actually shows where the movie is the rating um timings and it's actually presenting it in a much better way and actually actually I can actually click on one of these for more information and also up here changes see as you can say since I'm hovering over the movie times, it's saying, oh, here are some movies to check out. Check out these movies. And if I go back to the articles, it'll say, here's the latest in sports news, or here's the latest in whatever. So I think that's pretty cool. And the last thing I noticed that was there in the previous build, but uh, I just wanted to show you guys, is that now we have trackpad gestures. So I have a, syna a synaptics trackpad on my laptop. I can see right here, synaptics. Uh, so the gestures work uh, pretty well. They're pretty smooth. So three fingers up on the trackpad gets you to task view. Three fingers down is back. And three fingers down right here is desktop. And then three fingers up is back. So it's just like you've got some options here. Uh, down is desktop or back to your workspace. Up is all your windows. And up again would be task view. And another thing I noticed is that three fingers left or right actually brings up alt tab. So that's cool. Um, it's sort of the alt tab thing. Oh, here's Inception. The Alt Alt Tab thing is actually really glitchy, so I don't know how effective it'll be. Like, if you have like five windows open, it gets really hard for uh, you to switch between all the apps. But when you have a few apps open, uh, a few windows open, it works pretty well. So yeah, those are the trackpad gestures uh, that are new in this build. Uh, but that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated uh, since there are going to be pretty much daily builds now but uh, that's pretty much it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching see you in the next one